Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lex and in today's video I will be looking at how characters from history such as Egyptian gods or Catholic angels or even book characters have been reimagined in modern day media, be it in video games, in books, or even in movies. Now, let's get right into the history. Video games are some of the more creative ways that people have shared their reimaginings of figures found in folklore and myth. In the Japanese video game series Shin Megami Tensei and its spin-off series Persona, the developers included heavy symbolism in the designs. Anubis, for example, is shown in SMT and Persona with a scale. This is a reference to the weighing of the heart ceremony that Anubis had a part in. The heart of the deceased would be weighed against the feather of truth, the Egyptian final judgment. There are many figures from Egypt in the SMT and Persona series, such as Horus, who was designed as a golden falcon rather than a falcon-man hybrid, although there are statues showing Horus in a full falcon form. Other major members of the Egyptian pantheon in Persona and SMT include, but are not limited to, Hathor, Toth, Seth, and Khonsu. Cleopatra, while not a member of Egyptian mythology, is present as a recruitable character alongside the other Egyptian figures. The Persona series also features unique designs to characters based on books. Arsène from Persona 5 is based on the character Arsène Lupin by Maurice Leblanc. Carmen is based off the female lead of the novella and opera of the same name. Valjean is a persona based on the main character of Les Mis by Victor Hugo. The number present on the coat, 24601, is a reference to the prison number that Valjean was given in the original 1862 novel. When Valjean is awakened by the character Zenkichi Hasegawa in Persona 5 Strikers, Valjean says lines that are referencing lyrics from the musical, such as, Can I condemn another man to slavery? Pretend I do not see his agony. Who am I? Can I condemn this man to slavery? Pretend I do not feel his agony. Do you finally see the truth? Do you know the true face of the guilty? They condemn the good to slavery. Pretend they do not see their agony. Catholic and Abrahamic figures are also present in this series, with characters referencing the Virgin Mary, the Archangels, regular angels, Metatron, the Four Horsemen, and many more. I have a full list of figures from the Abrahamic religions linked in the description down below, as they would deserve a full video on their own. My personal favorite is Maria because the design still has a sense of revenance like many statues of Mary do. She is also surrounded by various animals that represent figures in the Bible, both good and bad. And overall, I think the developers did a very good job at designing Maria. Other notable figures include Charnabog, Athena, and Cinderella. In total, the SMT series having over 300 figures based on folklore, history, religion, and myth. Pokemon, a series that needs no introduction, also draws inspiration off folklore. Frostlass is based off the Yuki Ona, the Snow Woman. Nine Tails is based off the Nine Tailed Fox. Lotad, Lumbar, and Ludicolo are all based off Kappas. Ho -Oh is based off a of Phoenix. Ma Wile is based off the Fudakuchi Ona, a woman with a mouth at the back of her head. And Lucario seems to be very loosely based on Anubis, not to mention the dozens more Pokemon based off animals, objects, and even food in some cases. A new game that came out in September of 2023 called Lies of P, developed by South Korean studios New Wiz Games and Round 8 Studios, 
is a darker spin on the tale of Pinocchio, where instead of being a wooden puppet, Pinocchio is a good-looking, sword-wielding, bad-guy-busting doll. The game is even dedicated to the original author of Pinocchio, Carlo Collati. Honorable mentions that deserve a full video on their own include the game Smite, which features figures such as the elephant-headed god Ganesha, Baba Yaga, and the goddess of destruction, Kali. Dislight features characters based off Anubis, Bastet, and Osiris. Books are another way that authors have revamped classic myths and stories. The most well-known modern adaptation of historical deities is the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan, which follows the adventures of the demigod son of Poseidon. There is a sister series to this called The Cain Chronicles, which follows the adventure of a brother and sister as they try to stop Seth, the god of destruction. Cleopatra in Space, originally a graphic novel but now a television series by Mike Myhack, features Cleopatra VII being transported into the future where she fights aliens. The Royal Diaries were a series of books that was a collection of fictional diaries based on real people, such as Empress Elizabeth, Queen Isabella of Castile, Grand Duchess Anastasia, Sundok, and many more. The Other Boleyn Girl is a piece of historical fiction following the life of Anne and Mary Boleyn upon meeting Henry VIII. I find it very cool to see so many people take a famous story or historical myth or person, in this case I'll use the myth of Anubis, and how so many people were able to revise how he looked in so many different ways and none of them looked alike. It really shows off how creative people can be. And even in general, if you were to give 100 people the same prompt, you'll get 100 different stories. And I'm interested to see where the media I mentioned earlier, such as Shin Megami Tensei, will continue to draw inspiration from. And I wonder how well the creators will be able to accomplish it. And I just really find it fascinating how for thousands of years, these people and these stories have captivated us so much that we've been able to tell the same story a thousand different ways. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and share, and please subscribe to Sweet History Tea, a channel full of random facts and lots of sparkles. If you would like, the links to support my channel are down in the description below, and it is not expected, but it is always appreciated. Thank you so much again for watching, and until next time, bye! There's a point